Hello! Okay, so first I'm going to make the powdered Nutella. And the ingredients you need for that are obviously Nutella, the most amazing thing ever, and maltodextrin. So I didn't know where you could buy this in a store, so I ordered it online. Uh, it was about $10 for a pound of it. This is way more than I need, but we're just going to use some of it. Alright, so now that we have our maltodextrin and our Nutella, we're going to start by taking one third of a cup of Nutella and putting it in the bowl. This is beautiful and the best sight ever. Now if I can just figure out how to get this off. Okay, so now I have a third of a cup of Nutella and I'm going to measure a half of a cup of maltodextrin. I already made my mess. Alright, so that's half a cup of maltodextrin. Okay, so now we're going to take our third of a cup of Nutella and put it into a kind of small but not tiny bowl. And once you're done with this, you add half a cup of maltodextrin. And you mix. Now what happens is that the maltodextrin starts absor absorbing all of the oil in the Nutella, causing it to turn into a powder. But what's really cool is that once you put it in your mouth, it turns back into Nutella. And as you can see, it's very slowly starting to turn into a powder. Okay. So now that we're finished mixing, we should, you should have something kind of like this. It's super cool, and it's really fun to play with, and it's just really fun in general. And now comes the important part, the tasting, to see if it really tastes like Nutella. It tastes exactly like Nutella. It's really, really good. And you can put this on ice cream, you can put it on cookies, you can put, use it like sprinkles, or like me, you can just eat it straight up. And now go enjoy your own powdered Nutella. Hello again. Now, today we're going to be making orange juice caviar. So the first thing that you need to do, this is a very important step, is you take some oil of any kind, just not olive oil because that does not work, and pour it into a glass. You can use as much as you want, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to fill it up about halfway full. And now, you put this in the fridge because you need it to be cold. It's very important that it is cold. There. Okay, so now we're going to take our orange juice. I'm going to take about two thirds of a cup of that and put it in a pan. in a small saucepan like this. And then here's the magic ingredient that's gonna make this all work. It is called agar agar. It is a sea vegetable that works kind of like gelatin, but it's a lot stronger. It can withstand heat up like 180 degrees, I believe, whereas jello or plain gelatin can only withstand about 99 degrees. So we're gonna take about half a teaspoon of this and add it into the orange juice. And then we let that simmer for uh, about two minutes. Oh, and I got this at Whole Foods. You can order it online. Uh, it comes in flakes, bars, and powder. I'm using flakes, so. Okay, so we've cooked our orange juice and agar agar for about two minutes. And now we need to turn off the heat and let it cool down for about five minutes. I'm gonna set a timer. See you in five. All right, so now that we have very cold oil and uh, orange juice and agar agar, I'm gonna use a straw because I don't have a dropper. You can use a dropper or anything that can just use one drop at a time. And I'm gonna drop one drop into here. I 
And you can see upon impact with the oil, it creates little tiny drops of orange juice. Because the agar agar creates like a film around the orange juice, kind of making it gummy ish, which is super cool. Okay, so this was my little caviar pearls. This, I just used a slotted spoon to pull them out. If you made a lot, you can uh, use a strainer. And now I'm gonna taste one. So this is my little caviar pearl. That's such a weird sensation because it's like almost gummy, but not quite. And it kind of dissolves in your mouth, but I hope that you enjoy making this. It's really fun, and I'm gonna go now. Bye. Hello, again. Now, this time, I'm going to be make, making something very cool out of something that you probably know. I'm going to be making rainbow foam out of jello. Fun, I know. So what you need is five or six boxes of jello, depending on what you want, in red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. I could not find purple, so I just used these five. And then you'll need five bowls, or six, just a bowl for all of them. And you will need two cups of cold water, and one and three quarters of a cup of hot water. This is not the same as on the box. The box says two cups of hot water, but this is a little bit different, so we only need one and three quarters of a cup. So now I'm going to boil one and three quarters of a cup of water for each of these. All right, so this is one and three quarters of a cup of boiling hot water. I'm going to pour it into my bowl for red. And then I will add my red jello, if I can ever get it opened. Ooh. It smells so good. And now I'm going to get two cups of cold water and add it to this. Can't even see what two cups is. Alright, that is two cups of cold water. And we're going to add it to our red jello. Oh gosh. So, I'm going to switch to a bigger bowl. BRB. Alright, now we have put it in a bigger bowl so it won't spill everywhere and now we whisk it. Because we don't want any weird chunks of powdery stuff. And, when, and I know that I didn't mix it because when I uh, moved it from one bowl to the other there was weird sludge and stuff on the bottom of the bowl. And then once you think this is mixed, mix it for about a minute, maybe two. And once you think it's all done, you put it in the fridge. Okay, so now it is mixed up and I'm going to put it in the fridge and repeat the same process for all of the colors. See you in a bit. Alright, so they have been in the fridge for a few hours, but I haven't let them completely jello. Well, I kind of have, but not completely so that uh, I can mix them up. And then you take an electric mixer like this and you need to mix it up until there's a ton of air bubbles and then you put it back in the fridge so it traps all those air bubbles, creating a foam. All right, so I'm gonna start with the green because I don't feel like starting with red. And we're gonna hope this doesn't explode everywhere. Go slow. We're trying to incorporate as many air bubbles as we possibly can. Once 
once we're done with this, we just do this with the same thing with the rest of the colors. And then you put it in the fridge to to trap those air bubbles and let it completely jellyify. Right, that looks pretty good. This is what it looks like now. And we're going to put it in the fridge so that it can completely solidify. All right. Okay. So I'm going to explain why the Jello magically switched bowls. It was because I realized that I used the wrong amount of Jello, and I needed to use the bigger p boxes, but I didn't. And so what you need to do is use the smaller ones with one cup of cold water and three quarters of a cup of boiling water, and then it'll work correctly. But I did uh, two cups of cold water and one three quarters of a cup of hot water, and so it was way too much water and it didn't work. That is why they magically switched bowls, okay? Don't yell at me. All right, it's the next day and these have been sitting in the fridge and now they are completely gelatinous and we're going to scoop it into a jar. First, red or blue, whichever you decide. The bottom did not get fully uh, mixed up. So I'm just scraping off the top. Then once you're done with that, just do that same thing with the rest of the colors. I will say this is not the prettiest thing, but it tastes good. I'm really craving potatoes right now. Why do I really want potatoes right now? Put your stuff to step on so then you can eat. What time are they coming? Yeah. All right, so I have finished scooping all of the colors. There was not a lot of orange for some reason. I guess I just didn't get that mixed enough. But this is what it looks like now. It kind of just looks like red, yellow, green, blue. I think next time I would get purple so I could fill it all the way to the top. But that's what it looks like. And that's Finn being annoying. That's the orange. Bye.